If you're not someone who's born with a natural sense of direction, getting lost and relying on GPS all the time can get tiresome really fast. Here's exactly how you can improve your sense of direction so you can stop getting lost and quickly figure out where you are in the event you do get lost. What's up? I'm Zach Gallardo. Life is short, but don't make it shorter. So be sure to ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous. And subscribe for more fixed gear and cycling videos just like this one every Thursday and Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific. The ultimate goal when improving your sense of direction is to have an accurate mental compass and mental map. So instead of having to pull out your phone and check directions every trip, you'll just automatically know where you are. This makes getting around in day-to-day -day life a lot easier and you'll be able to quickly figure out where you are, whether you're at home or in a foreign country. Cardinal directions are your best friend, so think in terms of north, south, east, and west. Do that and you'll almost always be able to figure out how to get to where you need to go. Your mental compass will provide the big picture of where you are on this planet. So here's exactly how to develop your mental compass. Firstly, don't think in terms of straight, left, and right. These terms are relative and are much more likely to get you lost. If you know your cardinal directions and where you are and where your destination is, you can figure out how to get there. Anchoring is the foundation of your mental compass, and if you can figure out one cardinal direction, you can figure out the rest and then you'll automatically have your mental compass. One way to anchor yourself is with landmarks, and when it comes to landmarks, bigger is better. Because bigger landmarks are a lot less likely to be obscured or changed. For instance, a mountain is a better landmark than a building because a construction crew can knock down a building. One good landmark that I use to anchor my cardinal directions in my head are highways and freeways. Here in California, I-5 runs north to south, and if I know my position in relation to I-5, I have my compass. Another good landmark for anchoring are streets. In a lot of cities, the lettered streets run east to west, while the numbered streets run north to south. And there's also other patterns that cities use for naming streets that go certain directions. Another good landmark are neighboring cities. Neighboring cities can also be good for anchoring your cardinal directions. Here in Northern California, the highway signs that go south are marked Los Angeles, and the highway signs that go west are marked San Francisco. Geographical features can also help you anchor your directions. Which way is the ocean? Am I on the east side of the river or the west side? Well, that mountain is east of the city, so I always know which way is east as long as I can see it. Another good anchoring technique that might be less practical for most people these days is astronomy. The most basic one is knowing which way the sun rises and which way the sun sets. This is a really big overgeneralization and it depends on your location and the time of year. In the mornings, the sun is east-ish and towards the afternoon and the evenings, the sun is mostly west-ish. And of course, you can learn constellations and locations of stars where they appear in the night sky, but this anchoring technique is limited to nighttime and if you can even see the stars, if your place doesn't have a lot of light pollution. So that's how you find your compass orientation. And once you find it, always keep in mind which direction you're facing. Do that and you'll be on your way to never getting lost. Your mental compass gives you the big picture and tells you where point A and point B are. Use this in combination with your mental map, which gives you the details and tells you how to get from point A to point B. Here is how you can improve your mental map. Firstly, remember streets, their names, and the routes that they take. And the best way to start doing this is to stop using GPS. GPS directions just give you a list of steps which are hard to remember. When you need to get back to where you started, you need to do all the steps in reverse and then do the opposite, which is just unnecessarily difficult. If you improve your mental compass and know your cardinal directions, you won't have to do that. Also, GPS is just wrong a lot of times and it can get you even more lost. It's especially bad for cyclists since oftentimes GPS will give you the best route for drivers, which are usually the worst routes for cyclists. There's just so many little paths and shortcuts that you can take that GPS just won't tell you to take. Mistakes are the fastest way to learn, so stop using GPS, make your mistakes, get lost, and you'll develop your mental map a lot faster. Don't use GPS directions, but do use and look at maps. One of the best ways to improve your sense of direction is to just look at maps and make your own routes. But when you go out on your trip, try not to look 
at the map and instead try to memorize as much of the map and your route as possible. A good way to start improving your mental map is to first memorize the main roads in your area. A good rule of thumb to go by is that boulevards usually have faster moving traffic and more traffic and are bigger than streets, roads, and drives, which are bigger than avenues, which are bigger than ways, which are bigger than lanes and alleys. And I think it goes without saying that courts and places are dead ends. Just don't go down courts and places unless your destination is there or you need a quiet place to pull over. So when you're building your mental map, start with memorizing the boulevards, then the streets and roads. The rest of your area should just be offshoots of those. Looking at maps and then going out to ride the streets will fill in your mental map really quickly. You'll know which way the streets go. You'll know the bends and the quirks of each street because you'll see it and feel it in person on your bike. The best way to improve your sense of direction is to ride a lot and explore. Something that I like to do is to record my rides on Strava and then after the rides, go through and look at where exactly I rode. And as I go through the route that I took, I'd like to remember details and how it felt and what everything looked like at each part of my ride. Looking at a map and rewriting the route in your mind gives your brain a lot of hooks to remember both the big picture and the details, which will help you with your sense of direction. Another good practice is to just go out and ride without a destination. This allows you to familiarize yourself with areas that you wouldn't normally go to. And in that process, you might even find better routes that you can take. On that same token, Take different routes even if they take longer. The goal is to just explore your area and know every nook and cranny so you can quickly develop an accurate mental map. The ultimate test for knowing whether you have a good sense of direction or not is being able to get to a new destination without using GPS directions and without looking at a map. If you can tell somebody accurate directions and if you can draw a map just from your head, you'll know that you have a pretty good sense of direction. These are the things that I've done to improve my sense of direction with my bike. What are some things that you found helpful to improve your sense of direction? Let's get a discussion going on in the comments so we can help out those people that are lost so they can find their way. Fixie Famous shoutouts to Michael Rector, Alistair McCullough, Matt Ford, OZ Verto, Connor Kerrigan, Merrick Dravecki, Robert Terpsha, Blue Tick, Hound, Evil Ernie, Mark Van Deventer, and Jazeel for supporting the channel through Patreon and making these fixed gear and cycling videos possible. Don't watch this upcoming video if you haven't ridden your bike yet. Instead, ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.